It's rather interesting that signals can be based on different study designs, including clinical trials, observational studies, meta-analyses and case reports. Signals based on case reports can be driven by different motivations. We carried out a scoping review where we analysed a large body of evidence, including interventional and non-interventional studies, as well as signals based on case reports, and we drew the various motivations that supported signals. In 2016, I began wondering what kinds of actions followed UMC signals. And I stumbled upon a series of systematic reviews published by Iko Onakpoya, in which they reviewed the types of evidence that supported drug withdrawals. And I thought of doing something similar, but for signals more in general and extending to all kinds of actions. So we confirmed that most signals are based on case reports and in particular on clinical reviews of case reports. But we also found an increasing amount of signals supported by meta-analyses, randomized controlled trials or observational studies, as well as an increase in the number of disproportionality analyses per year. When it comes to signals supported by clinical reviews, then we found that the primary reasons that support signals were temporality, positive de-challenge and re-challenge, and the exclusion of competing causes. But only a small proportion of the total clinical reviews included such judgments. The review shows that we can improve the way that we report clinical reviews of case reports to enable other researchers to critically interpret their results. And it raises research questions on the bearing that disproportionality analyses have on drug regulation. 